Nigerian National Petroleum Company says official drilling of the first oil well in Nasarawa State in Nigeria's North Central will begin in the month of March. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission commences the 2022 and 2023 deep offshore mini bid round today. And I have Oyemi Oke, he's a partner at AO2 Law. He joins me now for these discussions. Thank you so much for your time today, Oyemi. And it's quite a lot, a lot happening here when you look at the oil and gas space in Nigeria. But now we're still continuing our, our foray up north in terms of uh, exploration. I'd like you to speak to this. And uh, uh, this is natural estate because we had the coal mining case earlier last year. And uh, how what business sense this makes for the country at a time like this? Uh, thanks for having me, Ken. Um, what is the business sense to this? I think uh, one of the things we should first of all bear in mind is that uh, the more reserves we can uh, build uh, as a nation, uh, the better for us. Uh, whether in uh, I mean, whether in the north or in, in, in the south, south or wherever. Uh, I mean, the most important thing is that if we can build reserves and we can ascertain that those reserves are there, it's good for us as a nation. Now, uh, that said, uh, the question would be how does this uh, stand uh, side by side with the energy transition plan of the Nigerian government and also the world energy transition plan? Um, I mean, proponents have said that uh, oil will continue to be in demand, at least perhaps for the next uh, few decades. Uh, but um, looking beyond that, the question is, what is our plan in terms of ensuring that uh, we diversify uh, beyond oil? Uh, the business stance with regards to what is being done currently now in terms of finding oil in North Central, uh, I think uh, it would lie in the ability of, uh, of uh, the NMPC uh, through perhaps his joint venture partners to be able to secure funding for the development of the project. As you would see, uh, for the Kolomani uh, project last year, uh, the, the NMPC Chevron uh, joint venture has been able to uh, conclude uh, a funding uh, agreement with about 16 lenders led by uh, Standard Bank. And uh, so... All right, then, but let's, let, let's look at the story of insecurity because, yes, we we borrowing a leaf from what we've seen play out in the Niger Delta for decades now. We've seen how the militancy in that in that space has has been. What what proactive steps do you think need to be taken to have, to avoid that? Because we also understand that the northern part, the north central part of Nigeria, is also uh, has its own uh, history of uh, insecurity. Um, yes. So the issue of insecurity is a major concern uh, for all development uh, uh, in uh, in the northern part of Nigeria, bearing in mind uh, the challenges uh, which we have seen in the Niger Delta. Um, so uh, as the development is ongoing, uh, there is supposed to be uh, all attention should be paid uh, to security issues because you do not want this type of resource to fall into the hands of the wrong uh, person. Um, insecurity as of today, uh, uh, which is quite linked to theft and uh, vandalism, is one of the greatest source of uh, the loss of our production, which we've seen perhaps in the last two years. And uh, as drilling is going on, or as development is about to be embarked upon uh, in northern Nigeria, that should also be taken uh, into consideration. For me, that is a significant issue which uh, uh, which should not be taken lightly because of how inflammable uh, uh, that region is as of now with regards to banditry and uh, terrorism. All right, let's get to the other uh, story which I headlined earlier, talking about the NUPDRC and the deep offshore uh, mini bid rounds happening happening now. Uh, what, 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 what's your take on uh, the development so far? Uh, I mean, I think it's a good development. Uh, the announcement was made last week uh, with regards to commencement of the bid rounds. Uh, in my view, again, as I said uh, during my opening remarks, uh, the more uh, reserves we can build, uh, the better for us. Um, I think uh, government, if it's able to successfully conclude uh, these uh, bid rounds uh, within the shortest possible time, it should be good in terms of government uh, earning revenue from uh, signature bonuses uh, royalties and ultimately uh, our taxes. But again, like I have mentioned, we should be careful or we should actually turn our, I mean, our, our satellites or our plans towards ensuring that uh, we are working side by side with, with current development of hydrocarbons and also ensuring that uh, we do not lose sight of energy transition.